Sorry, son. Impossible. Right here in the manual. There's no such thing as Santa Claus. It's two. We got a code 1225 Santa Claus is Real Syndrome Family Dispute. Welcome to Second Class Cinema, the show where we watch a B movie and immediately discuss. I'm Tom. I'm here with Brittany and Eric. Oh, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. ho. It's December. It's been December for a little while. Yeah. It has. And we're we're kicking off watching some Christmas movies. Yeah? I suppose. Yeah. Yeah? I'm not going to go ahead and promise that we're just going to do Christmas movies this month, though. In fact, not we make- might completely forget by the time you hear the next episode. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> not making any promises, but... But I'm watching Christmas movies, even if it's not for the show. It's true. Got it classics is, uh, coming. the time of the season, even though it's like 50 degrees out. It's okay. I can feel all the coldness in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so today we watched the 2000 animated Canadian cartoon. Uh, Grandma got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> Obviously inspired by the, Ooh, the song. worst song in the world. The novelty <laughs> song. Okay, so you hate the song. I cannot stand that song. Who okay. even sings that song? Uh, it's S- two people. Some idiot. Wow, we're informed. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's name is like Elmo or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Well, he's just a little red monster, huh? Elmo. He can't sing a song. Single by Ridiculous. Elmo and Patsy. Okay, got it. So I knew it was... Okay, well, I know who to blame. So this was Tom's pick. It was. Everybody. Tom, why did you pick this movie? I picked it because, much like uh, history repeating itself, <laughs> I picked another movie um, that is a first-class failure. Mm, haven't had one of those in a long mm-hmm. time. That I, so we initially tried to watch Stealing Christmas from 2003, starring Tony Danza. Oh, yeah. Uh, as a bank robber. Yeah. And <laughs> as we discussed, Christmas crime may be one of the best genres. Well, yeah. You Christmas got your crime. diehards, you got your home alones. Yeah, and you got your Stealing Christmases. Trapped Very high paradise. We <laughs> That as well. We, we tried, we failed. It was not good. So we moved on, and, you know, it was like, okay, well, much like the Christmas tree... Let's go ahead and try and make a second effort, something a little shorter, animated, and, you know, something we can maybe get into a little quicker, get it over with a little quicker. And I think we found that movie today, Mm. and Grandma got run over by a reindeer. So are you saying you picked it because it was 42 minutes long? Uh, That that is uh, one of the reasons. (laughs) I I picked it because we already tried a movie. We failed. So then let's... Let's shorten the let's, let's shrink the scope. Let's make try it, to get back to our lives here. Yeah. Make it easy on ourselves. Yeah, let's do that. Got it. Let's say that. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's why yeah. that's why I picked it. So tell us uh, if it's not so obvious from the title. What's this movie about? This movie is about a young boy <laughs> named Jake Spankenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> so they got grandma got run over. By the reindeer. Yes, yeah. we established this. <laughs> and Jake's the grandson. Got it. Uh-huh. And and so and Spankenheimer. Jake Spankenheimer. Okay. And his grandmother. Yeah. She got hit by a reindeer. She got hit by a reindeer. And uh, you, I mean, we've all heard the song. Yeah. Right. She had a little too much eggnog. Mm-hmm. She, <laughs> uh, you know, they begged her not to go. Literally. And uh, she backed up her fruitcake and left. You know. And got hit by that reindeer. Tom, you don't know what this movie is about, do you? <laughs> no, no. You, I, you sound like you're doing a book report on a book you didn't read. Yeah. This is every book report I've ever done. This is how it's gone. Whether or not I've read the book or not. Well, it's going great. Okay, so let's speed this up a little bit. We got we got a cousin, Mel, yep. who works at Grandma's store in Cityville. Yep. Um, it's, a, it's like the only store not owned by... Arthur Bucks or something. Yeah, some yeah. daddy Mega Oscar Bucks. Bucks. Yeah, some. So she's not a part of the whole metropolis. She's got her own little mom and pop shop. Uh, and cousin Mel, she just wants to cash it in. She just wants to sell the shop. She's trying to convince Grandma to sell this shop so that she can be rich. And then all of a sudden, Grandma gets run over by the reindeer. And you know, disappears. Disappears. She goes away. And then the entire time she's missing, no one cares. <laughs> Except for Jake. Except for Jake. He's trying. He's, he's fucking crossing every day off on the calendar that Grandma's gone. Everyone has forgotten about Grandma. 
And Cousin Mel is moving forward with trying to sell this and tricking Grandpa and the signing power of attorney over to her so that she can sell the business to Oscar Bucks. And, and then Jake has to ask Santa's help to try and find Grandma. And then Jake, on the hunt for Grandma, gets in touch with Santa Claus and tries to bring Grandma back to Cityville to bring her to court to stop the purchase of Spankenheimer's toy store. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the twist. Close enough. When the lawyers catch wind that Santa has done a hit and run, he goes on trial. Ooh. <laughs> for, I think it was called Slay Hickler. Slay Hickler. Yeah, the, the, the misdemeanor. I don't know. They Slay kept Hickler. sticking charges on yeah. him. Yeah. They really wanted to put Santa away. Yeah, they kept sticking him on. And you know what? He kept winning them out. <laughs> Santa knows how the courts work. He did it. And that's basically, that's basically what it's about. Yeah. Um, Fairly good summary. Thank you. Somebody just used this Somebody, ridiculous Christmas song to vaguely yeah. <laughs> work it into a 40 minute short cartoon. Yeah, so this, this was a made for TV special by like CW. I think they made it. Um, or so they commissioned it or, or aired on there, and they were airing this every year. This was something that they just aired up for a while. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, this, this was. So some of our listeners might have fond memories growing up with this. Oh, uh, please let us know if you do. <laughs> if it's, yeah, if it came out in 2000 and you watched this on TV between I, 2000 <laughs> and 2006, let us know. I beg of you. Okay, you clowns, cut the crap. First of all, you're too young to be listening to us. <laughs> I feel yeah, maybe. like I don't know who this was for. Okay. I feel like the content is very strange and like adult at times, and it wasn't especially comedic. No. It was more just like puzzling. <laughs> yeah, I'm puzzled right now. Yes. The tone of my voice. It, it didn't have like the the jokes that were aimed at adults that would go over the kids' heads. It was just yeah. like weird adult situations, I guess. Yeah, but like dumbed down. Yeah. I, I can agree with that. Like, Grandma got hit. No one cared. Nobody. <laughs> Not <laughs> a soul. And, like, everyone was talking shit to Jake and being like, oh, you have a case of still believing in Santa syndrome or whatever. <laughs> Even after Grandpa was like, yeah, no, she totally got hit by Santa's but sleigh. And everyone was just like, oh, you old so-and-so. <laughs> and then, like, completely disregarded it. It was so weird. And then they just had Grandma's, like, lifeless body sprawled out on the front <laughs> lawn. <laughs> It was so weird. And they left her out there. Yes. And they woke yes. up in the morning and they're like, where'd she go? <laughs> <laughs> she was lying here dead last night. There's a body mark there and there's sled marks. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what's so going bizarre. on. So bizarre. But now, yeah, it was not childish, but it was not for adults. Okay. So let's let's very quickly transition back to the song here. Back to the inspiration for this beautiful cartoon. They literally worked in lines of the song into the dialogue of the show. Yeah, and which the, is strange. the tune itself as well. They they took the tune and they flipped it on its head and they added new lyrics and they did. They would this like and play that. little verses, yeah. like cut away and play like a verse and then go back to the story. Okay. Now in the so you hated the song, Brittany, what do you think about the song? The song in general? Yeah, what do you like? What do you think? It's fine. You I think like it's fine? it. I think it's fine too. Uh, Personally, I'm okay with yeah, it. Yeah, I'm more about Dominic that donkey. Uh, I was going to ask. I the like Italian Christmas donkey. That one. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. I hate Dominic. <laughs> you can go directly to hell. And I don't mind that one. And I just, I have a lot of Christmas spirit. Mm -hmm. I have a fond memory of the song. Okay, share. <laughs> um, I was really close to my grandfather when I was a kid, and he used to take me to this pizza shop on Broadway all the time to get pizza or hot wieners. And I remember we went in around Christmas time one year, and the song was on, mm. and we were just both like cracking up over the lyrics. <laughs> and like my grandfather was like singing it obnoxiously. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's just a fun little memory. Fond memory of the yeah. song. Yeah. I feel like I remember listening to this song. Uh, on the way back from my grandparents' house at Christmas time, coming back to my house, the song would be on the radio. And I enjoyed the song, but even as a kid, I, f I felt awful. <laughs> like, as You're a kid, just like, I'm why like, is this a joke? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, why? Okay, why are we singing like, <laughs> about grandma getting, like, did she die? D is she all right? <laughs> is she okay? They never answer, is she okay? And that's the problem. With this cartoon, it's the same problem. <laughs> no one cares about grandma. No That's why the cartoon borrowed their attitude from the song. <laughs> like, it really upset me. 
<laughs> Your voice is cracking so clearly. I know. It makes me sad. Tom, <laughs> Tom's 11 years old again. It makes me sad that gra- like grandma just get hit. And no one cares, and the song doesn't address whether or not she lives. Grandmas are like the very soul of Christmas. I know. And she gets hit by a reindeer, and everyone's like, whatever. They're like, you're a little baby, Spankenstein. <laughs> Spankenheimer. <laughs> but no, like, and then, and so in the song, like, I've lived my whole life thinking that grandma died. Yeah. Like, grandma, when she got hit by that reindeer, that was it. Because I'm pretty sure the end of the song is like, they never see her again. Really? They just talk about the time she got hit, ran over by a reindeer. Yeah. But I mean, well, him and Grandpa believe, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's also a line. That's also a line. <laughs> I'm uh, blaming it on just as thick as the cartoon. Okay, I mean, I guess we can move on from the song now. I don't have any genuine positives either. I don't either because I have, it, <laughs> I have a number of failures. <laughs> it wasn't good. I mean, all right, was it? Well, I mean, it wasn't good, right? No, of course not. No, no. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. So, I mean. Was it better in quality than Christmas Tree? Uh, yeah. Animation quality wise, yes, definitely. Yes. Not much, but yes. It still had that creepy un like if there's an uncanny valley for animation, yeah, they nailed it. Yeah, the Jake, Almost, I mean, Jake had like weird cockeye at <laughs> like certain points. I was like, Oof. yeah, yeah. No, it was it was better in quality than the Christmas Tree. But story wise, I think they were the same. I think this one was a little less coherent than the Christmas tree. Really? Or maybe it just felt like lazier. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. What about I, you? I'm, I'm trying to recall my memories of the Christmas tree, but it really just feels like an extended LSD trip every time I try to think about <laughs> it. <laughs> I remember. I also thought it was weird that like there, like the guy you would expect to be the villain, like the Mr. Bucks. Mm. Isn't the villain? Mel is the villain? Yeah, the cousin. Yeah, yeah which is very strange to me because usually it's like corporate greed, er, he's the bad guy. But that was not the case at all. Like Santo was just like, oh, you asked for like a lieutenant, like Dan, whack a mole when you were six <laughs> years old. And the guy's like, oh my God, Santa, <laughs> you're so gnarly. <laughs> right, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> so bizarre. Yeah, that was weird. I didn't like that theme of like, okay, Christmas is about family, but also your family sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I mean, if you think truthful. about it as a 30 year old, you kind of relate to that. Yeah, <laughs> like when the grandma was going to go out and everyone was like begging her not to go, as the song states. Um, and she was like, well, if somebody helped me, I would have been done hours ago. And the dad was like, oh, I had to like do this. And the mom was like, last minute shopping. And the daughter was like, I had to finish my homework. I was like, you poor, poor grandma. I know. I was like, that's so realistic. Just lying right to her face. So realistic. Yeah. Grandmas always get forgotten about. That's not true. I feel like they do. No, I don't. I don't forget. <laughs> never forget. I'll never forget. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> That's why I felt so bad about the grandma on the song. I'm like, how can anyone forget? <laughs> Never forget. We're not going to have her wonderful fruitcake. Oh, uh, let's bring okay, that. Let's, let's talk let, about let's fucking fruitcake fruit for a goddamn oh, God. second. I have to go to the bathroom. You guys can talk about fruitcake. No. Do you, do you need to take a break? We'll talk about fruitcake. You, you, you take a fruit break. We'll talk about fruitcake. <laughs> We're going to talk about fruitcake. I wouldn't I wouldn't leave. Okay. I mean you're gonna you're gonna miss some exciting conversation. So the fruitcake thing. What's going on with the fruitcake thing? Every single piece of media that I have consumed since I was a wee child has informed me that fruitcake is the worst fucking thing in the world. It will like tear out your teeth and it'll rot your face off. And I tried some like a couple years ago and it was like good. Yep. So I feel like everything in my life is a lie. Well, you also like black licorice, so That's you are true. a cold-hearted in fact, son of Satan. <laughs> someone has said to my face that uh, I like everything that sucks. <laughs> so, yeah, you could be right. That's not true, because <laughs> I have had fruitcake, mm. and I like it. That's but, why I know I'm not well, the fuck up in the situation. You no. are also... <laughs> Full a of Christmas hard, spirit. Hard-hearted harbinger of haggis. No. Yeah. No. Let's let's break this down, okay? It's it's cake. Yep. We like cake. Cake's good. Fruit. Fruit. It's practically candy. It's good. It's and natural candy. It's yeah. earth candy. You mix them together. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, and nothing at all. And everyone always makes fun of how hard they are. They're like, oh, grandma's fruit cake. They throw it at like breaks of vase. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the cat fucking meows, and then it's just like, what's wrong with the fruit cat? I've never Why did you throw it at the cat? Cake. Yeah. I've never had a desire. It's. I mean, it's fine. It's I good. I feel like if you've had one bunt cake, you've had them all. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it just doesn't need to happen. If you, if you ever had bunt cake, you made it to first base. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I feel like bunt caking is harder than you think. <laughs> feel like fruit cake is in the same category as like Brussels sprout. Yeah, where it was like just everyone like, hates it for no reason. Like I just don't know where they hate. Like I've just it's been like I don't know if there was like a whole like oh we don't have enough Brussels sprouts to feed everyone. Let's make kids think they hate them <laughs> so that way we have enough Brussels sprouts <laughs> just for the adults. Just for the adults. <laughs> it's adult, <laughs> adults' best kept secret Brussels are Brussels sprouts. <laughs> They make us think we hate them. <laughs> they Facts, eat all of them. Fa- just so they can all have them, they're selfish. <laughs> you need to take a minute? So, I, I'm just coming to terms here. <laughs> You've been living a lot. We're discovering a lot of Christmas truths today. This is, this is tough. This is a tough episode. Your family sucks. They lie to you about fruitcake and Brussels sprouts. And, and they forgot no about grandma. No one gives a shit about grandma. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Let's, let's continue. So I have a question about like I love questions. The inexplicable breakaway dance numbers and like musical scenes that are in this show. Incidentally, yeah. that's one of my failures because those were abysmal. Okay, there's the one from Grandpa when he's like in a catatonic state. <laughs> okay, can we set that up? And then, <laughs> well, I had it as a favorite part, but I kind of just okay. want to explain it. Let's now. just talk, just about, talk it. about it. Um, so Mel takes Grandpa. Well, she makes Grandpa take her out to dinner at her favorite restaurant so she can basically confuse him into signing over power of attorney to her so she can sell the store. You know, kid stuff. Yeah, kid stuff. (laughs) And uh, so they're sitting at the table, and she gives him the pen and paper, and she's like, can you sign this? And he's like, huh? And she's like, sign this. And he's like, sign, I'd rather sing. And then (laughs) they make an interesting creative choice, and they completely cut away from the scene, and it just cuts to this musical number taking place in... In his head? Yeah, who it's was like, singing? Like, who was even there? What was the premise of it? He had a band. <laughs> Tom, that doesn't help. <laughs> was he like singing with Grandma? No, no, she wasn't there. He was singing this weird song about how. Yeah, how the tune go? I don't the fuck if I can remember how the tune goes. Dude. It was awful, but it was. But the premise was that she had gone missing and is now spending time with. Elvis. Presumed missing stars. Elvis, yeah, but the only one they could think of was Elvis. Yeah. And I do you mind if I cut aside for a second? No, go for it. Is it just me or it, like as kids were we just exposed to a lot of Elvis related media in our cartoons? Tons. For some reason? Tons. And it feels weird that as late as 2000 it was still happening. Yeah, definitely. Do you think kids now are exposed to Elvis stuff or do you think it's finally fallen off? It's probably fallen no. off yeah. cuz I feel like the people who are creating for kids now were weren't inspired Elvis was by already Elvis. Dead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, by the yeah. time <clears throat> They got to doing That's their thing. Point. But yeah, that was such a weird was thing. Strange. Inexplicable, like, breakaway musical number. And then <laughs> and then it <laughs> cuts back at the end. And it's just them sitting there. Mel's staring at him. And he goes, okay, I'll sign. <laughs> Which begs the question for us. Was he just staring <laughs> into space for two minutes? <laughs> Blank face, slack jawed imagining this musical number this while Mel was like, <laughs> is anyone fucking home? <laughs> As it turns know. out, didn't take much effort to trick Grandpa into signing. So weird. Well, no wonder, I mean, Grandpa already had a reputation for being a little wacky. Yeah. And then after Gra- uh, Grandma disappeared, I think he just got worse. Probably. And then, later on, <laughs> uh, Mel and her, sp- her lawyer Slime Mm. Which I was waiting for that to be a joke. Like, hi, my name's Emily Slime. But she's like, hi, I'm, I'm Slime. Uh, I, I, think, I think it was slime. Everyone, I am Slime. And then everyone was like, yeah, we know. <laughs> but then um, when they think they're going to win the case, it breaks away into another weird musical number where it's like a Latin, like... Like a luau type thing. I don't, I don't know. A what Latin that luau? It was weird. It Something was about like, it didn't add up carmen miranda like they were both dressed as like chiquita banana and they had like fruit on their heads and it was just so fucking strange like i can only like imagine that that's just their vacation that they're thinking about taking with all the money that they're gonna win okay but that's like 
I don't know. That's a real. That's a stretch. That's a leap to make. <laughs> that's a big leap. Because they don't introduce it in any way. They're yeah. just like, we're going to be rich. Carmen Miranda times. Maybe if she was talking about how much she couldn't wait to vacation with all the money she was trying. Yeah. Like, I'd be like, okay. Like, I, I can't wait it. to get away to such and such a place. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, all right. It makes total sense. Yeah. And they were like talking about how grandma was going to sue Santa during that whole song. Like, yeah. that was the only line they had. They're yeah. going to sue the pants off of Santa. Yeah. <laughs> Repeat. <laughs> 35 times <laughs> while wearing like a latin peasant dress and yeah. fruit on your head and cousin mel's breasts just hanging out <laughs> they were ready to fall out of that thing she was a vixen she was she was a <laughs> sultry vixen she was there was an animator having a lot of fun ah and a lot of a people lot jerking of off fun. yeah sorry <laughs> the curves were kicking yep I can tell because grandma was pretty hot too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, no, I, I, had, I do have some note. thoughts about grandma. I feel like the only way we know she's supposed to be a grandma is because they put glasses on her and like a weird beehive hairdo. Yeah. Like if she had none of that and it was long hair, she would look like any other cartoon middle aged woman or a young woman. She could, yeah. I was like, mm, this is weird. Yeah. I, actually, I have, a, I have a quote I would like to read for the audience. <clears throat> Uh, two minutes into this movie, I quote, why is grandma so hot? <laughs> As said by Tom, December 3rd, 2016. <laughs> she was, though. It was, I know she yeah, was. She was. She have like a white beehive on her head. She would have just looked like any other like glasses clad lady. I know. So I totally get how cousin Mel got those good jeans, too. <laughs> and then Jake's mom was total. Fucking Barely in the movie. Homely. <laughs> but then her sis- his sister was cute. Yeah, well, hold on. Let's be careful. No. <laughs> me and Tom can't have opinions about that. <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> uh, can't have an opinion about a cartoon 13-year-old? No! There's a, dude, there's enough 30-year-old men on the internet that have opinions about 13-year-old cartoon, cartoon girls. Cartoon girls. Okay. We don't need to add to that list. Touche. No, we're good. <laughs> They're already a scorch. <laughs> Allow it. All right. All right. All right. Moving on. <laughs> Um, all right, Eric, what, do you, what else do you have down for failures? Um, I think we've actually pretty much covered all of them. I mean, yeah. songs were my biggest sticking point because those were abysmal. There's nothing enjoyable about those no, whatsoever. No, that made me like, um, uh, uh, there were times during this movie where I was really enjoying it and then also couldn't believe I was watching it. Yeah. Like, yeah. like the... I don't know. I feel like, like I, I have so, an, one of my one of my other failures. Actually, the, the only one I have left is that that was the longest 25 minutes of my life. Ooh, as right? much as I was enjoying it. The first commercial break was like 15 minutes in yeah. and you and I were like, oh, my God, there's still 32 minutes left. We've been watching this for two hours. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> no, it, it, I thought it ripped at first, but then I was like, there were scenes in it where I was like, oh, my God. Well, yeah, there, there are scenes where there's nothing to enjoy, ironically, and then you're just watching a bad cartoon, and we're too old for that. Yeah. <laughs> are we? We should be. Think maybe. maybe. You think maybe? Yeah, I think... I'm not sure if I'll ever be too old. Well, the funny <laughs> parts were just funny because they were just baffling choices or, like, so adult and out of place. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. I, I feel like is a very similar thing to the Christmas tree. Like, yeah. the Christmas tree had this weird adult yeah. vibe that didn't add up. Like, it was written by a kid trying to write adult situations. They got some of it right. Yeah. That's what <laughs> I feel like we see a lot of that. It's just, like, comedy through absurdity. Mm-hmm. Mm. Actually, I have something else I want to I wanna talk about. Well, too bad. We're out of time. Fuck. All right, guys. <laughs> listening. Second. All right. Hold on. No, I'm going to squeeze it in. All right. So, Grandma goes missing. Mm-hmm. Right? She gets hit by this sleigh. Yeah. She goes missing. Got it. Where where is where is Grandma? She's at, She's the, at North the North Pole. Pole. She's at the North Pole. Yeah. So Santa takes her back to the North Pole, and so Santa's got this room at the North Pole. <laughs> like four people with like at least two Wait. other grandma. Hold on, at least two other grandmas. I didn't think they were grandmas. I thought they were just random people that he hit with a sleigh. Look like grandmas. I don't know. Maybe to me. Okay, well, okay. You just blew my mind because uh, it just occurred to me that that is the case. And now I agree 100%. <laughs> they t- okay, let's just say, all right, we got one grandma, we got two other people. He's got a room designated in his North Pole home mm-hmm. for people that he's hit in his sled. <laughs> this happens so frequently that he has a room for these people and he just lets them sleep there for eternity. If no one came looking for grandma, she would have stayed in that bed for God knows how long. Well, well that's she why had they're... amnesia. Yeah. What she, is he supposed to do with her? I mean, well, what? Bring her back to the neighborhood and go hot door to door? 
Like, well, you know, well, what exactly his, where. <laughs> did you lose your grandma? <laughs> what was his plan with this grandma? I to just know. keep her? Just hope that somebody loved her enough to write a letter about it? That's what he was hoping to <laughs> <laughs> To send him an email at Santa at SantaIsReal.net. <laughs> P.S. Here's a picture of her. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the best email address, by the way. <laughs> Love, Jake, Spankin' Hunter. <laughs> Um, but no, I was like, why does he have this room? Like, does this happen that often? What does he do with these people? Are they well? He was like, here? he was bragging about how the North Pole has like the best health care. Health care, yeah. And, I mean, uh, well, the Canada auction, Canada. Canada. It's true. <laughs> this is socialist propaganda, and I will not have it. Not in this country. <laughs> no, I just realized this. Wait, we just fucking, we just did it. <laughs> what, what? What did we do? We did it, guys. We <laughs> fucked Canada. <laughs> Busted that myth. Finally. <laughs> uh. Okay. Um, anyone want to talk oh, about? Okay, oh. so you just uh, uh, can we transition to favorite parts because you just reminded me That's exactly where I was going. Okay, so one favorite part. Bizarre reactions to situations that don't like pretty much what you just did. Yeah. Uh, there's a, <laughs> there's a part where Jake hugs his grandmother and says, "Oh yeah, you're back." And then it cuts to another shot of him hugging her, like a close up, like of her chest. Up. And and he pumps his arm and goes, "Oh yeah." <laughs> The most bizarrely inappropriate thing I've seen in my life. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Grandma's back. <laughs> it was really funny. Oh man, that was good. Oh, that was fantastic. Okay. And, gonna... and what made the whole oh. thing even more enjoyable is um, our, our main character Jake uh, very closely resembles longtime friend of the show Aaron. Oh, of who, course. Every time he has guest on our show, the next day has to go visit Grandma. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And it felt just all too appropriate <laughs> that we were putting the pieces together here. Every single time he comes here, he has to f figure out where grandma went because no one else gives a shit. Did Aaron's grandma get run over by a reindeer? Maybe. Yeah, we Maybe Aaron is Jake Spankenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't even know. Maybe this Christmas he'll find out. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're going to tell this him. This is the year I'm going to We're going to sit him down and make him watch this. I'm going to call him up and be like, Jake Spankenheimer. <laughs> is that you? Is that you? <laughs> Uh, is your refrigerator <laughs> you asshole <laughs> you son of a bitch um okay here's what we do okay what are we gonna let's do? just start dialing random numbers <laughs> ask them if they're jake spakenheimer and when we finally get a hit ask we them. ask them if their refrigerator's running <laughs> okay oh, God. oh man Okay, well, okay. Uh, sorry, I know Brittany had a, a favorite part she wants to get on the table. My only favorite part was when Jake was desperately trying to get out of the house to prove to everyone <laughs> that Grandma was indeed run over. And it just kept cutting to a shot of like their front lawn with like the Christmas lights and the snow, and Grandma's just face down, <laughs> spread eagle on the lawn, like dead, and nobody cares. <laughs> you just keep flashing back to her lifeless body. <laughs> And everyone's just like, ah, you're just imagining things. <laughs> you it's like, go to you bed take now. five seconds to look out the front window and see grandma's desiccated corpse. <laughs> right? <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. Just the shot of her body, which um, I'm assuming is going to be the shot for this episode. Yeah, I think so. Please. Okay, good. I like that. So that's the first thing everyone will see. Yeah. Um, all right. So one of my favorite parts, or I think it'll be a favorite character, is after grandma goes missing, they call the police. <laughs> And two police officers show up to the house, a male and a female. And the male police officer was the best character in this. Easily. Fucking anything. Oh, I love the females. North Dakota accents. Yeah, they both kind of had that going yeah. on. I don't know. It must have been like a Fargo reference. Uh, yeah. I Maybe. Don't know. I don't know. We had a reference to the OJ trial. <laughs> this thing, so who knows? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was weird. But that guy, <laughs> that guy was pretty, pretty cool. He had some pretty good stuff to say. He, uh, you know. You know, Jake was trying to be like, no, Santa Claus came here by the reindeer. And he's like, no, no. Says so here in the manual that uh, Santa isn't real. <laughs> so I can't help you here, kid. I really like to believe it was in the manual, too, and he wasn't just being a sarcastic cop. No, I he was pointing to it. Yeah, well, I mean, Jake is like 14. He still believes in Santa Claus. You can trick him into anything. Yeah, it's and then later well, he's, like rattling, he's like rattling off evidence, and he's like, yeah, eight reindeer. Like, that's what I thought. I was like, wait, I thought Santa's not real. You're not allowed to. Yeah, which him. side of this argument are you on? Yeah, and then also, he took fruitcake as a exhibit A. <laughs> Bagged that fruitcake for evidence. That bagging process was pretty funny. Uh-huh. Um... 
because we were talking about references, I just wanted to say that in the movie that we didn't watch, yeah, somebody made a reference <laughs> to who's the boss. Oh yeah, the Tony Danza movie, Stealing Christmas. <laughs> Uh, he he said to Leah Thompson, who's also in that movie, oh, she's the boss. <laughs> Which is actually not a bad Tony Danza the impression. Best thing yeah. to have happen in the 18 minutes we watched that movie. Yeah, it was unfortunate. I was really hoping for something worse. Me but, too. But then I was yeah. like, but it's Tony. You it know, happened it can't too be that late. Bad. It did. I was hoping. I mean, even if it happened a year before that, I think we might have been good. It was too, too clean. I had um. Angela Gothels, whatever her name is, from Behind the Mask. So that was cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was probably the most enjoyable part of that. Um, Wayward teen. But yeah, I have no more Santa favorites. Uh, I don't really have many. I mean, okay, so I will say that the fact that they live in Cityville, that's one of my favorite parts. The fact that his last name is Spankenheimer. What was the name of the corporation that owned everything? It was like uh, Own All Corp. Own All Corp. Yeah, yep. something like that, yep. Run by Oscar Bucks. Cityville. Yeah. Oh, man. Everything in the script was just like, what's the first thing we write down? Yeah. But let's, let's get this done. <laughs> this was a working word script. <laughs> um, oh, they live in Cityville on Town, <laughs> town Ave. <laughs> oh, oh, there's another favorite part, and it's a line. And it's a line from the mom. Okay. Um. I want a video of our new inflatable tree. <laughs> of, of our first inflatable tree. Oh, I'm sorry. Tree. <laughs> of our first inflatable tree. That was so dumb, too. You want they the inflatable like, tree? We're not going to go pick out a tree this year. We have an inflatable tree. It's all the rage. <laughs> we're like, on what earth and would then, this ever fucking happen? And then Grandpa was like, I wish I had one of those. I'm like, no, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you want one of those? Well, Grandpa was a notorious idiot. That's yeah, true. Kind of of Grandpa! <laughs> All right, is it rating time? Um, I do have one more quote. <sighs> oh, oh, okay, let's, let's quote. Arrest this woman for obstruction of justice and almost ruining Christmas. <laughs> this is spoken in a courtroom by her own lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Which means you really fucked up. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, you insulted that guy. <laughs> Uh, all right, is it? It's rating time. I think it's rating. Time. Let's rate. So let's rate it then. Yeah, I'm gonna go. With yeah, fuck I'm gonna you. have to give it an unfortunate fuck off. Oh my god, my fucking father. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah! All right, guys, let's rate. <coughs> Grandma got run over by a reindeer. The cartoon movie film from 2000. Let's let's do it. Um, I'll start. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna give it a fucking fine. Because but I, I'm getting some smiles. I'm getting some smiles. I'm getting some nods in this room, all ladies and gentlemen out there in the world. And I'm gonna do and I'm gonna say fucking fine because I was satisfied. Hmm. I, I enjoyed I enjoyed the ride. Uh, it was a tight forty five. I think it's I think it was worth worth the time for the laughs. And um I think I like Christmas tree more. That Definitely. was yeah. that was more absurd and more terrible, and it's like one of those movies that's so bad it's good. This is just bad. Mm. I was also gonna give it a fucking fine. <laughs> All right, fucking fine. Um, while it was incoherent and like kind of boring sometimes, and I don't agree, it was a tight forty-five. Kind of felt a little long at, towards the end. But, um, <laughs> I don't even know if it was forty-five minutes long. Yeah, who fucking knows? But it was like absurdly comedic in some parts, and I think if you were just like sitting around drinking watching this it would probably be worth your 45 minutes of time i think so yeah eric uh, yeah i think we're gonna go along with it and make a a, a, a larry fine sweep oh <laughs> a larry fine sweep <laughs> fucking fine <laughs> um yeah i pretty much agree with all the points you guys made um mm. i think this would make a, a great double feature christmas extravaganza oh with yeah the christmas tree definitely get some uh, get some eggnog mm -hmm. try not to drink too much yeah uh-huh <laughs> <coughs> fruit and, cake. Uh, and that'll beg uh, you not to leave. Cakes. Yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> we'll beg you, beg you not to leave. We'll have eggnog. We'll have fruit cake. Uh, we'll watch the Christmas tree. tree. And uh, oh my uh, god, I always want. What? I just want to say the wrong title for this. Okay, wait. What were you gonna say? What uh, do you want to call it? Breathing like, fire. I want to. <laughs> that would have been nice. I always want to start it with the word "don't." Like, <laughs> don't tell grandma the reindeer is here. What? <laughs> Don't tell grandma she got run over. Yeah, don't tell grandma she's a reindeer. That's what I, that's what like almost comes out of my mouth. 
<laughs> Can we write the script for that better... right now? Yeah. Don't tell grandma she's a reindeer. It's like a <laughs> werewolf type story, but it's a grandma who turns into like a were reindeer. I'm writing that. Cut down. this out of the episode. We're going to write the song. We're going to make a fucking million dollars because no one's written a new Christmas song in fucking 30 years. <laughs> Don't tell grandma that she's a reindeer. <laughs> Okay, um, what, what were we doing? Um, you I were finishing ready. up your Yeah, it's, I don't know, it was fucking watchable. It was fun. Yeah, I don't know, it was goofy, stupid cartoon. Um, I get the feeling of where I would it's welcome after the second watch, which I feel like we ran into that problem with the Christmas tree. Um, I think we overdid it on the Christmas tree last year, and like it just kind of lost some of its luster. It I did. I feel like we didn't uh, give it a good viewing last year. True. I feel like the viewings have. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I agree. We did something wrong with it. Yeah. Uh, well, the first we thing is it. we need to get drunk, but not too drunk. <laughs> mm. Because I think we watched it twice last year, we I think. We have too many people around. And the no, first time we were all people. knockout drunk. And yeah. then the second time we were dead sober. And that doesn't work either way. <laughs> yeah. I think I can agree with that. And I think maybe a double feature of this would be good, too. And I feel like uh, Don't Tell Grandma She's a Reindeer. I think if you played that one first... <laughs> <laughs> that would make the Christmas tree that much better. I think so too. Yeah, yeah because probably. like you see the steep decline in quality. Yeah, because that's... I mean, if the the animation in this movie is horrible, it looks it's ugly, mm. uh, but it's consistent. Like, yeah, the Christmas tree has that weird thing where just the style changes for no fucking reason, and it's baffling <laughs> and, and things terrifying. Are, like not where they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Like they just forgot to put cells in the animation. Yeah, like, it's weird. Yeah, that it's or that entire scene of the kid talking his mouth's not moving. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, amazing it's things. One of the best things in the world. This doesn't have that many of those points, which is kind of unfortunate because animation failures are some of the funniest things in the world when they show up. Yeah. I, we did get the one nice one of... Um, there's one last favorite part before I forget it. Uh, when they're in Santa's like infirmary slash dungeon, <laughs> whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, His amnesia dungeon. His amnesia dungeon. That's perfect. Um, and they're talking to Grandma, and like they, they go from Grandma talking at a close-up to a long shot where grandma has just passed out again <laughs> because they, obviously they're not going to like redo the shot just for grandma to be sitting up in bed. So she's just like, <laughs> she's out like fucking light. She's done like within a half a second of her done talking. <laughs> to, be, I again? <laughs> to be fair, I think her eyes were open and it was just such shitty quality. You couldn't tell if her eyes were open or closed. Also true. But I like, <laughs> which makes it just as good. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like believing that she just passed out. Yeah. That's the belief it, it, I, I it, like to understand. It falls into the same belief of Grandpa staring for two minutes while he thinks about Elvis. And then yeah. she's like, let's blow this joint. It's better than sitting around getting fat. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a dig on fat people, huh? Dig on Santa. Right? Whoa. Oh, how dare it's you, probably hooking Grandma. this broad up with like all the hot chocolate she can guzzle. Mm -hmm. All the peppermint candy canes she can eat. No complaints from me. Yeah. yeah. Hear me. I wish I had amnesia in the North Pole. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that's it. We watched uh, we watched Stealing Christmas from 2003, which failed. Yep. And then we watched Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer from 2000, which was fine. <laughs> we got <laughs> through that one, fine. and we all gave it a fucking fine. Yeah. And I think that's a great idea to, to build a double feature with this in the Christmas tree. And it would be really cool to find one more that's just just about there and then do a triple feature yeah i think I, that would that would just round it out i, I think may, maybe if we can find something that's like in the the 10 to 20 minute range it's like put that in as like a little like an intermission yeah exactly like okay if you want to get up and get more eggnog you don't have to stay for this one mm -hmm. but if you want to you can yeah you don't have to but, but you, you can, can if, if you, you want, want to. to good night everybody <laughs> take a poop okay you've been listening to second class cinema if you'd like more information you can head on to facebook facebook.com slash second class cinema if you'd like to listen to our program you can listen to it on itunes stitcher tune in radio following films.com and second class cinema.com please go there uh you can find us on twitter and instagram and uh, email us at second class cinema at gmail.com and you know just have fun with us <laughs> yeah poke, We're poke fun at us we're here to have fun. Oh, oh, and thank you to the fine gentleman who drew those awesome pictures. Oh of us. yeah, thanks. Yeah, those are fantastic. I can't <laughs> wait to see the the final run. I, I am so excited. I think you should make yours your default photo on Facebook. I'll, I'll wait until he's I, done. So good. I think you should print out a copy of it and paste it to your real face. <laughs> <laughs> Much improved. Yeah, all right, I'll do that. 
Feliz Navidad.